T account is an accounting tool used to track changes within a given account. Changes are tracked through debits and credits, and the net change after all debits and credits are tallied up represent the difference between the beginning balance and the ending balance in that account. By tradition, and for no other reason, debits are on the left and credits are on the right. In the context of double entry accounting, debits and credits do not carry the same meaning as their colloquial use. For example, on a bank statement, there might be withdrawals on the left and deposits on the right. Up until now, you may have associated debits as negative change and credits as a positive change. If you continue thinking of debits and credits in these terms, you will find double entry accounting confusing. Similarly, keep in mind that debit cards and credit cards are not similar to debits and credits in accounting. It is important to let go of traditional uses of the words debits and credits in everyday life, as they are not the same as debits and credits in the accounting world. For this reason, and only insofar as accounting is concerned, it may help you to start thinking of debit simply as left and credits simply as right. Accountants do not think in terms of positive or negative numbers, but in terms of increases and decreases, which translates to debits and credits. In a traditional transaction, two things are exchanged. For example, a person gives another person a goat which is a decrease to the first person's number of goats and an increase to the second person's number of goats. The second person gives the first person a sack of grain, which is a decrease to the second person's grain and an increase to the first person's grain. The first person cannot have negative sacks of grain and the second person cannot have negative goats. Of course, the example of bartering goats and grains is somewhat antiquated. In a complex economy, transactions do not typically involve physical items. But this example demonstrates the mechanics of double entry. As one thing is given, another is received. As one thing increases, another decreases. T accounts are a form of shorthand that accountants can scribble on a piece of paper before they make an actual entry to the accounting books. The impact of a debit or credit and whether a debit indicates a decrease or increase in a particular T account depends on the type of account. For example, in asset accounts, such as cash or accounts receivable, a debit indicates an increase, while a credit indicates a decrease. The opposite is true for a revenue account, where debits indicate a decrease and credits indicate an increase.